What's up guys, my name is Asali from AP Tech, helping you grow further and faster in YouTube. In this channel, we do tips and strategies and also a tech gear review just like this one. And today we've got this Abyss projector, which is amazing in my opinion. This is a uh, office projector, so it's not a home projector. So it has some limitation, but this limitation is because this is an office, but they do have a home version of this, which also comes with a Amazon Fire Stick, which I will leave a both link on these projectors in the description if you want to go ahead and purchase the home version. Today, we're going to review this office version. So this is for business use only. So I'm not going to um, basically give you a little bit more rundown of how you can use it for the business purpose, but I'm going to use it for home purpose. I'm going to um, connect it with my um, Chromecast, but you could also use it without Chromecast if you want to use it like for YouTube or for, for example, mirror casting on your smartphone, your laptop, or any sort of uh, image where you wanna present um, for work purpose. I'm going to demonstrate both daylight and as well as a night vision, so that way you can see if this projector is actually for you. So firstly, let's go ahead and unbox. This comes with uh, minimal accessories, such as um, power brick, so plug it into your power socket. It also comes with uh, remote control. This is a simple remote control. It also comes with, again, with your AV cable. So if you want to use the AV, but no, not many people use AV nowadays, especially where everything is wirelessly. Right, so to set up the Airbus projector, which is the office version, um, it's simple. All you need to do is just plug in your power socket. And once you've done that, um, I've uh, powered this with my Chromecast. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open the lens and to open the lens is straightforward and you just need to take the cap off just like that. You've got two options. One is that you can control it with the remote control that has been provided or you can just literally press the power button just like that and the green light came on and you'll see the LED light will start glowing and that will project against the wall. So as soon as it projects, then we can see straight away how that looks like. We're gonna start with the source input. It has the AV input also has HDMI 1, HDMI 2, and then straight away we're gonna to go to the gear, and this is where you can do a lot of things in terms of connectivity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, image setting, keystone setting, and projector position itself. You can customize uh, in terms of how you want the, uh, the zoom to look like. I've also checked if there was any system available, um, updates and etc. So we're gonna go image setting, for example, for the image setting, you've got so many options here. You can have it picture mode as standard. You can have it vivid, which is more brighter. I'm gonna leave it as a standard. Brightness, you can increase it, decrease it. It's totally up to you. So change that straight away. You can see it to user because I've changed the, the image. So I'm gonna go back to standard again. So we're gonna go back straight to the home again. And then in here, we're gonna to go to all of the options in terms of image aspect ratio. So we're gonna to go to image ratio you currently have on auto. We can change that to uh, 16 to nine. We can change that to four to three, and that will change it to something smaller. Um, you can, so if I show you 16 to three, it's saying this setting is not available at the moment because of the current input that I have on my AV. All of these settings are not available. So if I go back to the setting again, it has the image mode and image mode, you've got it standard, vivid, and soft. If I go back, you've got the color, um, you've got warm, standard, as well as cold, to my ISO image cast, and you've got the mirror cast for Android phone. You've got the office, picture, music, and video. Fix the focus um, by rotating the wheels, and I'm rotating it quite slowly to make sure that I don't miss all of the quality. So the quality is looking good. And if I do it more, I might overdo it. And that looks quite sharp to me. You can see the writing is looking good. And I'm gonna move the projector a little bit to the side. So that way my cupboard is not covered. That looks good. And um, so that is the Chromecast that's currently powered on. So what we're going to do is demonstrate a couple of clips so that way you can see the quality itself.
well you've just made it to the end of today's video if you found this video useful do hit the like button and also subscribe for more videos like this till next time stay legend